John 22 coming in today with another episode of Pokemon Omicron, and in case you've missed it, that just there was a training montage. Yes, I did some grinding in between episodes, I actually remembered. Um, and I did actually try to go in the cave just to scope it out. We can't actually go in there yet. It's, um, it's, uh, it, when we try to go in, it says I, something along the lines of, uh, there's still stuff to do in town, so we should go in there. So let's check out this house instead. And, uh, it's Growlithe. So cute. I love Growlithe. My Growlithe is so big. His fur is so soft. There's a lot of kids in here. I'm playing Pokemon Leaf Green. I chose Bulbasaur as my starter. He's the best. No, I'm sorry, young child. But you are incorrect. It is a fact that Charmander is actually the best. My grandkids are running around making a mess of the place. I wish their parents would come home soon. I hear you, sister. I watch kids for my sister every once in a while, and they could be a handful. Um, let's see. What are you doing? Making a documentary, apparently. Let's see what this is. It looks like a Safari Zone type thing or something. Oi, trainer, this is the Safari Zone. For just 500, you can cruise the wild, grassy areas of the Vesrin region. I don't know, is that what the place we're, call we're in called? Is is that what the place we are in is called, I guess? <sighs> My, I am um, terrible at this. Yes, I will pay you $500. And it looks like it's going to run like the uh, Gen 1 Safari Zone, which is pretty cool. Let's go check this out. And it's suddenly daytime. What do you people say? Oh, hey, AJ, it's me, Jeremy. Looking for Pokemon? Who, how do you know me? Are you the guy I fought in the cave or something? Who are you? Starting things multiple times makes you... Stating, stating things. Stating things multiple times makes you right. Yeah. Uh, I think this guy spends too much time on the internet, because... I can't imagine anyone other than an internet troll thinking that that's true. Oop, finally a Pokemon. And it's just a giraffe rig, and I don't care. So we're going to run away, because we can't get any XP here. I just kind of want to get a feel for what kind of Pokemon are here. Bum, ba, bum, ba, da, ba, bum. Execute! I love Execute. I actually um, like to use Execute sometimes when I'm replaying Gen 1 stuff. So we're going to try to catch it. I won't use it either way, but we'll throw a couple balls at it. And it ran away. Uh, let's see. And already another Pokemon. Jeez. A Rhyhorn. I love Rhyhorn. Fan another fantastic Pokemon. Let's bait him. And it ran away when we offered it food. That's sad. Um, did, was there, did it say there was like a step limit in here? Or do we just kind of hang out until we're done? Run away from Giraffe Rig. I don't like Giraffe Rig. It's one of those Pokemon. Oh my god. Really? 
Uh, throw a ball at it, I guess. Now, Girafferig is one of those Pokemon that had so much potential, but they never gave it an evolution or anything. They just left it as it was, and it, it's kind of a bummer. It was so close. It's watching me carefully. Let's throw another ball, then. Maybe we can catch it this time. Maybe it'll be watching me so closely that it'll miss the Pokeball coming at it and not run away. Nope, it ran away. I don't know. My logic is terrible. Here are you. Nope, oh, never mind. I got into another wild encounter. Sorry about it. So it looks like it has some of the same Pokemon as the Gen 1 Safari Zone, but also some, like, other Pokemon tossed in here. Let's throw some bait at it. It's eating now. Yay! Let's throw a Pokeball. Or a Safari Ball. Oh, didn't get it. Too bad. Still eating. Maybe we have, like, one more shot, and then it's gonna probably run away. I never really got the hang of the whole balance of the food and rocks thing in the old Safari Zone. I figured it probably had something to do with each type of Pokemon. You would have to throw a certain combination to make the capture chance as high as possible. And this thing is just taking its time eating that small amount of bait we threw at it. Jeez. Come on. Ah, poo. This is a family show, so I need to refrain from saying the word that actually popped into my head just now. Come on, just catch it. Oh my god. Remind me to never make that sound again, please. Okay, we're done. We're done in the Safari Zone. We're going to leave. Because we are wasting a lot of time in here. Uh, so let's leave Rhyhorn and... I don't know, I'll just, just go up this way. Ugh. I'm just going to go ahead and cut until we're out of here. Alright, and we are out. And uh, we go going back our Safari Balls and we head out. I did try a couple more times to capture Rhyhorn and execute and failed miserably. So it looks like since we can't go up that way because we don't have cut and we can't go this way because apparently we just don't want to for some reason the only place left to go is this building so we've already fought a couple of guys down here let's see if we could figure out where we're supposed to go in here so it looks like we can go either direction so let's let's check the other direction first see if we can find like some stairs or something Figure out which way we're supposed to go. Minimize the number of trainer battles that uh, we have to fight. And I don't see K beating this guy, so we're gonna play. Oh, I forgot to show you my guy's levels. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Um, go back. Go to Pokemon. Who can fight this thing out of my Pokemon? Nobody really. So let's go into Gassy. Because Gassy's a boss. You scratch and missed. So let's uh, curse ourselves. And then we'll use some nightshades afterwards. Let's leer. You'd expect it to have like a rudimentary dark move at this point, but I guess it doesn't. Nightshade. Boom. It's afflicted by the curse. All right. So that's one Pawnier down. And actually, before we go any further in here, I'm going to go ahead and do another cut back to the... the well, I'm going to heal the Pokemon Center and then back to the Mark to get some more potions. So, uh, be right back. All right, we're about ready to go back in. So I'll go ahead and show you my Pokemon real quick. As you can see, uh, K, Zora, and Root are all at level 15. Geodudette is at level 17. Gassy is at level 16. I wanted to get all of them up to level 16, but I got bored. So they're not quite there yet. But hopefully they will level to 16 fairly quickly. And Zora, let me let me just say, Zoroa is a great Pokemon. I'm really, really glad we caught it. Um, I did get some more stuffs. So I have 20 potions now, as well as 35 Pokeballs and a Premier Ball. So, uh, we've got some 
decent stuffs now. So let's go up here. I don't see any stairs this way either, so let's just go this way. What's probably going to happen is that we're probably going to have to go around this middle area to like a back part of the room. And that'll be where the stairs are, if there's even stairs. A Carablast. Interesting. So these guys, I'm not sure what their whole theme is yet. It's kind of unusual. So let's play to sleep. This is a bug, so it's not going to take a lot of damage from our confusion. But I am still going to try to fight it, see how much damage it takes. Ah, uh, yeah, it takes a decent amount of damage. So hopefully we'll be able to knock this thing out with just a couple more attacks and get K some decent experience, because let me tell you, I love Butterfree, but K is just not turning out to be quite as good a Pokemon as I originally expected it to be back when I caught him. Uh, usually, especially early game, a Pokemon with a Psychic Attack is really good. But this game seems to play with that expectation and kind of throw it out the window. Okay, so that looks like that's where we're going there. Hey, random grunt guy. These are called grunts, right? Yeah, Team Olympus grunts. A poniard. A shiny poniard. Very interesting. Usually you don't see enemies with shiny Pokemon. So, I'm, I believe Ponyard is dark in its first stage, so I don't want to fight it with K, obviously. So, let's just uh, curse it like the last one. And it woke up right away. Fantastic. Hopefully it'll still only no scratch. And uh, this episode will probably end up running long, because... Oh, no, 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 no it's Fury Cutter. That's mildly scary. Let's hypnotize this. Because I don't want it to use that in succession. That would be bad. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh, this episode may end up running long, but I'm going to actually do you guys the favor of actually getting up to the boss and maybe even fighting them um, before this episode is over. We'll just call it a bonus like a bonus length episode or something. You know, because I don't know words. Looks like that's like a Master Ball or something up there. Look at that. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's go get him. So, let's see. Does he have a shiny Pokemon too? Nope. Just the one guy. That's cool. I wonder if that's just like... Because the game randomly generates the IVs of the Pokemon. Is shininess still determined by IVs? I don't know. That, that was cool, though. That was an interesting thing. That's definitely going to determine the episode title this time around. Because that was... Oh, change Pokemon. Because that was pretty unusual. Oh, and I didn't heal up Gassy. Well, I'll show you Geodude Geodudette's new move, then. Because my Pokemon did get a couple of new moves while I was training them up. So I will show off her new magnitude. And Leer, just keep keep on Leering. It's not really going to matter. Magnitude 9, fantastic. Boom, you dead. Alright, now real quick, we're going to heal up uh, Gassy and move on to whatever this, I'm assuming, story event is up here. Uh, Jeez, I, these controls, man. Alright, potion. Alright, so this way she'll be able to use her curse without knocking herself out. And, uh, real quick, just to be safe, I'm gonna save here. If I can actually... There we go. Right, I found the right button! Let's talk to these people. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, you! This is no place for kids. Get lost now! Ellipses, ellipses. No, you say? Fine. Athena, deal with this. Ooh, I like that. With the whole Olympus theme, we get a one of the Greek gods as the uh, name of the person. That's cool. Yes, sir. Bring it on, kid. Walks right into my Butterfree. That's weird. Hey, she's kind of cute. Really young. I was expecting her to be older than that. She's carrying, like, a spear or something. It makes sense. Athena carried a spear in the mythology, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, uh, sleep batter this biatch. And it stayed awake using insomnia. Of course it did. I should have known it would. And it used uproar. Fantastic. 
Alright. Poison powder then, I guess? I really don't want to lose to this thing. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna. But because I am stubborn, I'm going to potion. See if I can, uh, see if I can pull this off. And if not, I will switch Pokemon, because K is too close to leveling for me to, um, risk it getting knocked out. And it got knocked out. Any oh, no, it didn't. <sighs> okay, we're switching, because, I, I mean, this clearly, I didn't realize it knew a, a, uh, flying move. If I had known that, I clearly would have switched out already. Let's go into Zorua. And of course, Zorua is using that illusion power. Which is very, very cool. Uh, let's try our new attack, Fury Swipes. Because Hoot Hoot has kind of garbage physical defense. Nice. And if we hadn't uh, knocked it out with that second hit, and if that had been our last hit, uh, the poison still to knock that. Ooh, we can learn Gust. What do we? What moves do we have on? Uh, let's get rid of Flash because I don't think we're gonna end up needing Flash again. If I'm wrong, I'll uh, put my foot in my mouth. But I don't know. Uh, if I, it was a fighting Pokemon, so yes, I'm going to change Pokemon to the actual Staryvia. And I probably just really confused my opponent. But that's fine. I don't care. Let him be confused. Still gonna kick her ass. And one hit KO. Fantastic. Rioli fainted. Mien Fu. Mien Fu. Mien. I don't know. Yeah, just stay in. You're fine. We're fine. I do not know how to pronounce that, guys. You have no idea what you're dealing with, kid. You're a kid, too. Stop calling me a kid. Use fake out. Of course it did. Boom! Oh, come on. Stop it. You can't win by sitting there and preventing me from attacking. That's not how battles work. Kaboom. You're dead. Well, knocked out. Alright, do I get to fight the boss, too? Hmm. No matter. We have what we came for. The Time Caller. You have proven you are a threat to our cause. Watch as we catch a legendary Pokemon and become unstoppable. Okay. What? What just happened? I'm confused. Since you defeated my assistant, you've proven yourself worthy to watch Team Olympus's rise to power. Sable, I use th the time caller. I'm confused. What's happening here? It's Shaman. Amazing. The time caller was successful in calling Shaman from another time. Now go, Master Ball. Okay, so they... Okay. Excellent. Shaman is ours, the legendary Pokemon of purity. Soon, the most powerful Pokemon in the world will belong to us, and we will be unstoppable. It's it's Arceus, isn't it? Now stay out of our way, or next time I may not react so mercifully. Yeah. Uh, screw you, dude. Let's go see what's left in here, if we can, uh, pill for anything. And it still has the creepy Team Olympus music. That's eh, dumb. Oh, it doesn't even activate or anything. And there was, like, no security here or anything? What is this place? Yeah, it's like a museum, and there were no, there was no security here at all? That's kind of silly. So, this is kind of what I'm talking about, guys. The design of this game, like, the environments and the music, is all really cool. And, um, the animation with the animated Pokemon and the animated uh, shadows and whatnot is all very cool. And then you get story elements like that that feel like they're just forced in here because they're expected to be in a Pokemon game. But we'll get to that more once I do the uh, review of this, once I'm done with it, because I do still plan on doing that. Um, until then, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, because I certainly enjoyed making it for you. So uh, if you did, please help me out, like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. 
In the description down below, you'll find links to all the things I'm working on. Uh, please check those out, because I really think you'll like them. And uh, either way, this has been Awesome John 22 and I will talk to you guys later.